I'm going to show you here how we can customize your auto map library, which is essentially your description list, to show specific point descriptions uh, a little more clearly. In this project, for example, I've got um, a bunch of LP records, uh, light posts, that um, I'd like to change to show in a different color and with a different symbol, just so they stand out a little bit better, easier to spot at a glance. And we'll do that by editing your AutoMap library. So I'm going to open the AutoMap library by clicking your description button. It may show uh, the current description, or it might say no desk. Click that. And I'll just show you a few of these options at the top here. If entire AutoMap is turned on, we see every description that's in the library, whether they're used in the project or not. I'm going to turn that off to narrow it down just to points that are in use and user defined. So we're seeing points that are in the project, as indicated with the check marks. And user defined descriptions are descriptions that are used in the project but that were not saved back into your uh, AutoMap file. So what I'm going to do here is uh, edit the LP record. I'm going to click on the little gear icon to edit the attribute properties. So the first thing I want to do is change the point symbol. So we'll click on the point symbol button. And for the lamp post, I want to click on the circle within a circle. And I want to make that a little bit bigger, so I'm going to change the size to 1. I also want to show it in a different color instead of black, the same as all the other points that are there. So we'll click on this, and for the lights, let's choose uh, kind of this orange type color. There's no lines, so I don't need to worry about uh, the line color. The layer name here was going to be used if you're importing this into MicroSurvey CAD uh, to control what layer the LP points are drawn on. Below here, we're telling it that uh, we're not going to connect the LP records with the line. And we also do not want to assign these LP records into the, the DTM. So if you're doing surfacing with Field Genius, the real-time DTM will not include LP records. If you do want them included, just clear the, the box. So I'm going to hit Close. And when I click OK, it'll save our changes back. And you now see that all of the LPs showing up uh, in this kind of orange color with a larger symbol. Similarly, I've got some sidewalks running through these uh, kind of medians here that I want to change the color to show up a little bit better. Again, we'll click the description button to open the auto map editor. And I want to edit the sidewalk description. I'm not worried about the uh, point symbol right now. What I want to change is the line color. And because it's uh, a sidewalk, I'm going to pick kind of a, let's see what we've got. Let's go with this kind of gray, kind of concrete color. Click OK. See that they're now drawn in in the new color. And if we pan around the drawing, we'll probably see other locations with sidewalks. For example, up here, all through here. So it just makes them easier to to see right at a glance. All of our sidewalks and the light posts now stand out really clearly. You can use that to customize all of your other descriptions um, as you wish.